Hi, Morningside family and friends. Thank you for joining me for this week's Inside Moment. Take up thy cross and follow me, I heard my master say. I gave my life to ransom thee. Surrender your all today. Two friends were having lunch together while serving at a Sunday school conference in Alabama. As they talked, they began sharing with each other how God was working in their lives. One of them, a missionary to Brazil, a home on, was home on furlough. He told his friend, who was a hymn writer and leading the music for the conference, that he was going to be unable to return to Brazil because of a health issue. He was deeply saddened because he was going to be unable to go back to a country and a people that he had grown to love. He said that the news that he had just received a few days earlier had broken his heart. The man's friend asked him, what will you do? Through his tears, the missionary, R.S. Jones, told the hymn writer, B.B. McKinney, wherever he leads, I'll go. The story goes on that McKinney was so moved that he wrote the classic hymn by that same title that very afternoon and sang it that night after Jones preached. Since that night, this song has been sung many at many invitation times at crusades, revivals, and worship services. It was sung at the invitation time when I made my own profession of faith. Matthew 16, 24 reads, Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. While we don't always know where our Lord will lead us, we do know that he calls us to follow. In these last several months, we've been faced with much uncertainty, indecision, and often conflicting information. As we stand at all of these crossroads and we're asked, what will we do? I pray that we may all have the grace to reply like R.S. Jones and B.B. McKinney, wherever he leads, I'll go. May we pray together. Father God, thank you for your love for us, for saving us from our sins through the life, death on the cross, and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, and for your promise to lead us through all of life's journeys and trials if we will just follow. Give us such strength of faith that we will follow you wherever you lead us and that your kingdom will be glorified. These things we ask in the precious and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen.